Hey y'all, so today I'm doing my drugstore makeup tutorial for my eyes. I actually filmed the brows and face like a couple weeks ago, and I filmed the eyes as well, and I was looking back on my footage, and somehow it got deleted, so I refilmed it about a week ago, and <laughs> that got deleted as well, <laughs> and I feel so like embarrassed that I deleted it on accident, but like, I just wanted to kind of pretend, but I'm telling y'all. <laughs> The, um, this is basically the same thing, but I'm wearing the same shirt that I did in that video, and I did put, put my hair in a ponytail like I had it in the other video, so let's just pretend that we're going back to back to back. So, I'm excited. I think I use all drugstore. Making sure, yeah. I have like a couple brushes that aren't drugstore. It's because they're like my holy grail things going on in my, in my life, and it's just been a very like emotional time for me, and I appreciate prayer so much. And so I would love it so much if you would pray for me. So if, if you do, thank you so much. And yeah, let's get into this tutorial. Okay, so I'm starting off with Milani eyeshadow primer. Y'all know the drill. I have this in nude. It's a squeezy tube. I love this more than high end. It's amazing. I completely recommend it if you have oily 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 oily. oily. If you have oily lids like me, I recommend it because it just corrects it, makes your lids look kind of matte and just wonderful. So, I just take a little bit and I'm like not in frame or whatever and I just put it on my eye. I also put some on my lash line as well because I apply shadow there. And, um, so my brushes I actually use all the time are super dirty. So I'm going to be using my J Cat Makeup Brush Cleaner. Just clean them off and it looks like this if you didn't know. I'm just going to kind of show y'all like what I do. So let's just do this brush right here. This is from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to swirl it in here. That's how I typically clean it. So I'm going to clean these off real fast and then I'll um, be right back. Okay, so now my brushes are clean. And I just want to tell y'all that I'm using a different mirror today because when I do use my blue one, I have a tendency to just like show you everything in the background. So I grabbed this one. So if I actually do get it in frame, you won't be able to see like, I won't be blinding you. And also you'll be seeing all my stuff in the background. The eyeshadow quad I'm using today from the drugstore is the Maybelline quad. And this is in Chai Latte. This is the best drugstore um, like quad I've ever tried. It is amazing. The colors blend perfect. Um, it just has some really good pigmentation. The only color that's not like in your face is probably this color. Like this kind of like shimmery color. But it is an amazing not neutral um, quad from the drugstore. Now I'm going to be taking... My Flower Beauty E01. And I'm taking this color here, like the base color, and I'm just setting the primer with it. And I haven't filmed a video in a little while, so that's why I'm kind of weird. <laughs> and I'm just going to be setting this, so. Now I'm taking this kind of tapered fluffy brush from Real Techniques. I'm not sure which which name this is or whatever because I've had it forever and I don't have the name rubbed off but it just looks like this and it's purple and black and I'm taking this color that is for your crease it says like a nice kind of light chocolate brown and I'm just going to be fluffing this into my crease and I'm just kind of building up this color and then I'll take my Sephora brush, which I love, I love for blending. You can still see it has color on it, but it's just a little bit of a stain because the color is off. I guess very lightly. I'm going to be blending. Now I'm taking this brush again, and I'm taking this kind of shimmery color. The one that doesn't have a lot of pigmentation to it. Just like a nice shimmer to it. And I'm putting it um, right here. And now I'm taking my e.l.f. crease brush, looks like that, and I'm taking the liner color, but I don't ever use eyeshadow as liner, and I'm going to be using that for like my outer corner. And all these colors are really shimmery, the only matte one in here is like the light brown one, 
but I'm just gonna get a little bit on here and put it on my outer corner. So I'll kind of do circulars and I just. Now I'm taking the Sephora brush again and blending my outer corner color. Now I'm taking this flower brush again and I'm getting the base color that we used to set the primer and I'm putting this under my brow bone. You're probably thinking, we used all the colors in there, you're not going to do a lid color? I got y'all, y'all just wait. But I'm putting this under my brow bone. For my lid and inner corner, I'm using this L'Oreal Single Shadow, it's like a pressed pigment in Eternal Sunshine. It's from the Infallible line, I don't know if I said that. But these are stunning colors, beautiful, I love them so much. I own Amber Rush as well. I'm going to be using my clean finger. It is clean. Now, if you have an awesome brush that picks up pressed pigments really well, y'all go ahead and use it. My MAC 39 is high-end, which I don't use because it's a drugstore look, except I did use a Sephora brush. And also, it doesn't really pick up this product very well. And I don't have a good inner corner brush either, so I'm just using this as my lid color because I like my lid colors to be banging. I mean, they're just very, like... Simple. They're really pretty, but like simple colors. And I really do like my lid to just be like. So this is why I'm using it. See how pretty that is. Beautiful. Now I'm taking the Sephora brush again and blending everything together. So, but I don't really blend that a lot because it's super shimmery, so it can like go everywhere very quickly. So I just like very lightly touch it. But everything else I just blend very well. Really funny story. A couple days ago, I was using my beloved Dix Epic Ink, and it like just completely like the product stopped working. You know, it's liquid liner, so like the liquid liner stopped like coming out. And I was like, okay, that's weird. So I gave it a couple days break because like one of like the pieces came out, and I found it and I put it back in the room. And I was like, hopefully we'll get like more liquid in there and it will work. And, like, I did this side with it and it worked really well <laughs> right now. And then when I tried to do this eye, it completely stopped working. So, this kind of has, like, Nate's Epic Ink. Then it has this Wet n Wild Comfort Zone color. Um, this palette has this black shimmery color, like, over it. And then I kind of, like, did that for this eye with my liner. So, I would have filmed, well, I would have tried to film that in the video, but... <laughs> There'd be a lot of craziness, plus y'all know it's hard for me to do my liquid liner and frame when I'm filming a video. So it looks like I need to go and purchase another NYX Epic Ink. <laughs> this is so crazy. A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. But now I'm taking this, this liner and it's high end, but I don't have another liner like this, so please forgive me. But I'm using the Estee Lauder liner. And this is in Dramatic Teal, and I'm super sorry I'm using Estee Lauder, but I just don't have a beautiful eyeliner. Okay, so I, my bottom liner is through, and I used the Estee Lauder Dramatic Teal one. Now I'm taking my Morphe pencil brush. This isn't drugstore, but it's like a really cheap price, like pricier, not... A really cheap price, like, it's less expensive than, um, like, real Techniques brushes. This is the Morphe M431. It's a pencil brush. I love it. I just recently got it and I'm obsessed. And I'm, I'm using this Maybelline Eye Studio Quad in Tantalizing Teal. Teals! Shirt. Work with me. Work with me. And I'm going to be mixing these two colors and putting it under my eyes, under the liner. And doing like a really nice pop. Because I have like neutralized and like a really nice bluey, tealy pop. That color is so beautiful. I literally got this for 50 cents. Curling my lashes with my Clean Logic eyelash curlers and applying L'Oreal Voluminous Feline Mascara. I had mascara on earlier, so I'm hoping this won't clump. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm nothing's gonna fall now. And it's gonna be. 
forget your lower lashes as well. Now I have three different lipsticks I want to show you. So I could do a lipstick, kind of like a liquid lipstick, and like a metallic, or kind of like a liquid lipstick and like a matte one. So I'm going to start off, Revlon has some amazing lipsticks. Oh my gosh. This one's in the shade Fire and Ice. It's like the cream formula, and it is very moisturizing. I love it. Beautiful color. I know about this packaging. I just think it's so fancy. Marilyn Monroe-ish to me. Or you could do this Revlon Metallic Matte in Gleam. This smells amazing. Beautiful finish. I love it. Or this NYX Liquid Lingerie. This is in Satin Ribbon. So I'm going to try out the Fire and Ice one from Revlon first. This is a Fire and Ice one. I think it's so beautiful. It kind of gives you like a really nice like, oh, I don't know, like orangey look. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm just going to wipe this off now and try out the next color. Okay, so I got most of it off, but it's stained a little bit. And it's basically weird, but I think, I think it looks kind of cute, like a nice little pinky tint to it. But now I'm taking this NYX Liquid Lingerie in Satin Ribbon. I'm just going to be going over it. Show y'all what it looks like. See how it's very nude. I'm actually just going to put this Revlon metallic matte over it. Because I need some color. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. There was just nothing on the light and like it does in real life. It is stunning. This may be my new favorite lip combo. Revlon. NYX. And Revlon. <laughs> this is it for my drugstore makeup tutorial series. I hope you enjoyed the brows, the face, and the eyes. I had so much fun. Filming all three of them. I really wish I could have like posted the other one because I was like more in like adept in it. And I just, you know, I was like, I'm a weirdo. I like, I like things to be back to back. But that did not happen. But I still think it's so pretty. And the lips probably look really weird to you on camera. But they are stunning in person. Stunning. I love it. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. God bless you. Bye, y'all.